In this video, we're going to talk about global invoice settings. Now, invoice settings in Practice Management Workspace are very granular. You can control them uh, universally at the global level, like we're going to talk about in just a second. You can control them per contact, and you can actually control them per invoice if necessary. So here we are in the Billing tab, Invoices view. If I open up this invoice, I can click on the Invoice Settings button on this individual invoice, and I can actually change um, layout, how it appears, the descriptions of certain fields, and the format for this particular invoice. I can also change how invoices for this contact generally are generated. From here you can uh, individualize invoice settings for a particular contact and you have the same options listed here. But what we're going to look at is your global settings. These are the ones that are going to be the defaults for every contact in the system who isn't otherwise specified to use different settings. So we're going to go to Setup, My Company, Information and Settings, and the Invoicing button here. And these are our global invoice options. In this first screen, we've got a lot of uh, options in the first column that have to do with default invoices. So when you create an invoice, this is the default type that it's going to be created as, Summary. We could change that to Work Code, for instance, if we wanted to. Default Level of Detail, Invoice Starting Number, um, when you create a new invoice, should it be marked to be emailed? And what file format you'd like to email it as? Should it be marked to be printed? And so on. Um, this is an important option here, protect final, partially, and fully paid invoices. That means that those invoices won't be able to be edited uh, if they're final or partially fu or fully paid. Um, you can also prompt to add a note when sending an invoice. This means that if you email an invoice to a client, the system will uh, send a pop-up that will ask you if you'd like to record a note in the note section, uh, just documenting that you did that. You can turn that on or off here. You can also change some print settings uh, for the header. Do you want to show the invoice number? Do you want to hide the watermark on a fully paid invoice? So on. There's a couple more uh, print options here on the right-hand side in the body. Do you want to show hours and rates on a work code type invoice, for instance, saying that I work this many hours at this rate, or do you, do you just want to show the amount? You can control all of those things here. Jumping over to the Descriptions tab, these are the uh, fields that appear at the bottom of an invoice in Practice Management. We have a discount field, invoice total, ex expense and mileage, so on. The um, name here that you can't edit, that's what we call that field, but you can call it anything you want. So in this case, if you charge expenses but you never charge mileage, you would take that out. And so your expense mileage field appears just as expenses on the invoice. You could do something similar um, with discounts. So if we go here to our discount field, maybe you don't want to call it courtesy discount. Uh, maybe you want to call it loyalty discount. And so you could just change that here. Um, all of these fields are editable. Here on the left-hand side, you can change what the default header is, the first paragraph on the invoice. You can change the invoice description paragraph and the closing. In format, here you can change the font style and size. You can choose which line separators there are going to be, if there is a double underline of the grand total, for instance, the margins on the invoice that you would like, and your uh, letterhead settings. If you have print on letterhead checked, this means that the top of the invoice is going to generate blank um, when you create a new one, so that when you print it, the system is assuming you're going to print it onto pre-printed letterhead that's already got your letterhead at the top of the page. Um, if you leave it unchecked, uh, the system is going to generate a default letterhead for you. It'll be centered in the middle of the invoice. It's just going to have the company name, your address, and phone number. If you check both of these things, use custom letterhead graphic, that's going to use the letterhead graphic, the image file that you have uploaded uh, into the letterhead portion of your company setup. You can also choose to print a remittance slip and determine where... Um, on the invoice you want that slip to show off the top or the bottom. Jumping over to the aging tab, here we can choose when we want to calculate uh, aging and also previous balance and current payments. Now most recent prior invoice is going to be the option that's most common. It really depends on how often you bill your clients. If you bill them regularly from most recent prior invoice is the best choice. Uh, if you bill them infrequently, like once a year, if it's somebody who just comes in for their tax return and nothing else, you might want to do from 30 days ago. 
jumping over to late fees. You can choose whether or not to calculate late fees, how much you want them to be, how much of a grace period you like there to be. This is very flexible. Um, you can also choose when to start calculating those late fees. So from most recent prior invoice, from a calendar month ago, from a specific number of days. The way to think about this is how much of a grace period would you like to give them before you want to start charging those late fees. And the last tab, document management. This is going to house your settings for how you want invoices to be saved uh, into document management if you want them to be saved um, and whether or not they should be overwritten when you make changes to the invoice or if you would like to keep copies of each version um, as you progress. So those are your global invoice settings. If you have any questions about that, give us a call.